light from that window, from those trees and those flags, is coming in and it's hitting this screen. And so my question to you is, how come there isn't a picture of the flags and the trees on the piece of paper? The light from those is hitting the paper. How come we don't see projected on there an actual image? Go ahead and pause the video and give that some thought. See if you can figure it out. But the reason that we're not seeing an image on the paper is because light from say, you know, one spot on one flag is hitting everywhere on the paper. Light from one leaf on the tree is hitting everywhere on the paper. So the light from these objects is hitting the paper, but it's all smeared out. From one point on that object, the light is going everywhere because light is spreading out. It's diverging uh, because it's uh, reflected diffusely from the trees and the flags. So what we want to make an image is some kind of device that will take light that's coming from one direction, one point in, on the object, one direction from out there, and make it go to one spot on the screen. And a device that does that is a convex lens or a concave mirror. So let me go ahead and show you. I have a convex lens. This one I've split in half so you can see it is convex. It's fat in the middle and th thinner at the edges. And so I just broke that so you can see it in, in cross section. Now I have a larger one here that I haven't broken in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it up here and I'm going to project an image of the trees and the flags onto the screen. To get the edge of that board that I have sitting in front of the lower part of the window, in order to get that edge into focus, I have to move the lens further away than I do to have the trees and the flags in focus. In fact, ever so slightly, I have to move the lens to a different place, depending on whether I want to focus sharply on the flags or the trees. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this concave mirror. This is actually a, a four and a half inch mirror from a telescope. And it is concave, that is it's bowed in. I just want to show you that real quick here by putting this ruler across the diameter. And you can see that it's bowed in just a little bit. It's not flat. Doesn't take much. Now, in order for me to project an image onto this paper, I'm going to have to actually uh, reverse the paper because the mirror creates an image on the, it reflects the light backwards, the lens the light goes through. So I'm going to rearrange here and just give me a second. And now here is the image created by this mirror of the distant trees and the flags. So the essence of projecting an image is that light coming from a single direction, a single point on an object or a single direction in the sky is going to go to a single point on the image. And a, uh, a different spot on the object, a different direction on the sky, light coming from there is going to go to a different spot on the image. And there are two things that can do that, either a convex lens or a concave mirror. Telescopes that use the convex lens are called refractors. Telescopes that use mirrors are called reflectors.